Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Tam from BotAcademy.com, and today we have Arjun from Shop Message. Arjun, welcome. Hi, thanks a lot, Tam. I'm really happy to be here. Arjun, what are we going to talk about today? You mentioned about something about a little bit of e-commerce and about Messenger. Tell us more. Yeah. Um, so the Bot Academy, con- uh, the Bot Academy is all about how to use Messenger to accomplish a whole bunch of different goals. So building your list. Um, marketing to your audience and I'm here to talk about specifically how you can use chatbots to grow your e-commerce sales. Mm, perfect. And you said you've been doing this a lot with shop message. What exactly is shop message? Yeah. So shop message is a, um, it's a chatbot that my team built um, and we released it just a couple months ago on the Shopify platform. What it is, is it's a chatbot that you connect to your e-commerce store and what it will do is it'll send out personalized messages to, to, your, uh, to your customers and potential customers and give them reminders to purchase items that they might have left behind. Mm. And probably by the time of this releases in a couple of weeks, um, you, we, will, we'll, we, we might be able to see shop message on the Shopify front page. Is that right? That is true. Uh, we just got word that we're going to be featured on Shopify's um, App Store's front page. And they've already written some blog posts about us in terms of um, business chatbots that you should have to grow your business. So um, there's been a lot of love so far and it's nice to see that the general market is getting excited about using chatbots to grow their businesses. That's freaking awesome. And yeah, let's, let's just go straight into the content and um, we have something prepared for everyone here. You can go ahead and share your screen. Sure. Uh, yeah. We're, I'm really excited to see what you've learned at shop message and really excited for the viewers to learn um, how they can use, like these principles and this philosophy into their own, um, into their own chatbot business. Absolutely. So I'll share a little bit of, of shot message and how we arrived here and give you really tactical tips for how you can use messenger to, to grow your e-commerce business. So just a little bit of background on, on what the initial kernel idea was for shot message is we shot message is a chatbot that helps you win back lost sales using Facebook messenger. So the idea is most customers, when they're browsing on, on, they're browsing your store, they're doing it on a mobile device and they're usually on the go. It's already, it's already clear that majority of traffic is on a mobile device and nowadays majority of sales is happening also on a, on a mobile device. But as we know, people don't check out right away. So what Shop Message does is it'll, it'll recognize when somebody adds a product to cart but doesn't, but doesn't actually make the purchase. And after 30 minutes, it'll send them a, a, a message through Facebook Messenger. So in this case, it's a very simple, punchy, one-line message that says, leave something behind. And it's a great attention grabber. And then what we do is we actually show the product itself in, and we use this, this specific message template to show the exact product that they added to their cart and give them a one-click way to buy it now and get back into the checkout flow. And this is an opportunity to really, to really get your customers to, do, to, 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 to take an action uh, very quickly through Messenger. And if you want to apply a discount, then you can apply that as well, and it'll just automatically happen through the checkout process. Hmm. So uh, the whole idea, the, the reason we, we came up with this concept and why it's so valuable is Facebook in general is allowing, they're encouraging developers to opt in people into Messenger notifications through their regular purchase funnels. So in our case, what we did is we put the opt-in Facebook sent to Messenger checkbox right below the add to cart button. And that automatically happens for, for your store. And the idea is as a customer is browsing your store and they click add to cart, at that moment, they're opted in. So there's no need to type in the email address. There's no need to see a scary opt-in pop-up. And this is just another reason why Messenger as a channel is just so much better than, than email. You get a significantly wider top of the funnel. And that's one of the reasons why Messenger outperforms email when it comes to recovering lost orders. Mm. And another value of Messenger is you can send a personal note to every single visitor. So what you're seeing here is just um, Cassidy is browsing through various dresses and you can actually put those dresses and similar ones in um, the Facebook Messenger message to Cassidy so that she can make the purchase right away. And just generally, the way Facebook is investing into the platform and the way that all brands should be using it is not as a broadcast 
um, just a, a super generic message for every customer, but really finding a way to give them content that is personal to them. And that way you're going to get really high engagement rates and, and you're going to increase your sales that way. So mm -hmm. that is something that we've built into shop message, but it's really a general principle that we should use for any time you're trying to sell products using Facebook messenger. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is just like, Hey, look, I'm shopping on like J crew. I see yep. a really cool button up uh, shirt. I add it to my cart and are you saying that immediately in my messenger, before I even like check out or anything, I get that cart or the, get that item into my messenger. Is that right? So not quite. What we want to do is we don't want to interrupt you in the purchase process. What mm -hmm. we do is we, we, we want to only make sure that somebody gets a message if they've abandoned. So if you're on J crew and, and you add a product to your cart, but you know, maybe you have another meeting or you have to respond to an email and you forget about it. You've already indicated your interest because you added a product to, to the cart. That's a big deal. Mm. You've expressed that interest. So what we do is send the sequence out that starts at 30 minutes after you abandoned in order to get you back. And you can also have follow up messages at 24 hours and 48 hours. If you don't, if you don't make the purchase in that time. Mm, that makes sense because that applies to the Facebook's 24 hour rule. Is that right? Exactly. So what Facebook lets you do is you can send messages within 24 hours to, to the customer, um, to the person when they opt in and you're allowed one single message after the 24 hour mark. So that's why we've added a third message that happens at the 48 hour mark. And what we've actually found, this has been pretty surprising. Um, that third message is, is, constituting roughly 25% of all the recovered revenue. And in some cases, that message that happens after two days outperforms the message that happens after one day. Mm, I'm excited to see you have numbers for this as well. Absolutely. Well, we're, I'm going to be sharing with you what one of our, one of our customers is actually uh, able to generate with shop message itself. Mm, awesome. Cool. So let, let's move on. So um, another value and uh, something that it's a, uh, you know, with great power comes great responsibility is the fact that you can get your message right to the customer. So typically, um, e-commerce sites are using abandoned cart emails to try to recover orders. But those emails, at best, you're going to get like a 30%, 35% open rate maybe, and those are, con those are going to convert pretty low, and those just get buried. But now you're guaranteed to get in your customer's inbox at, right at the time when they show great intent in buying your product. And um, we actually tested a lot of different times for the sequence for the first time to reach out to the customer. We started at four hours and realized that the closer you get to mm -hmm. right when the customer tried to make the first purchase, the better it is. So that's why at the 30 minute mark, you can be sure that the customer is not still in the middle of their, their checkout process, but it's not so far that it's just kind of, uh, they, they've forgotten about it. It's still very top of mind. Mm, that's very cool. Yep. So um, moving on, I wanted to share, this is actually the dashboard of shop message for one of our, for one of our clients. So you can see that this shop over the last 30 days has generated an additional $49,000 in revenue recovered that might have otherwise been lost. So, uh, you know, and that, that to us is amazing because yeah. that, that being able to recover this revenue without spending any additional dollars on advertising, on retargeting, or, or anything like that. And sure, there might be a little bit of cannibalization here. Maybe if they did not see the message from shop message, maybe they would have clicked on the email or seen a retargeting ad. But the, but the point is, you know, you've never seen a channel that converts as high as this. So just looking down, um, I, I want to draw your attention to the middle of the screen first. First of all, 23,847 new subscribers. And that is, that's really awesome because these are subscribers who are, you can now, who've opted in and who you have the ability to reach in the future if you ever want to with a really personalized message, especially if it's not a marketing message. And that's really powerful because you don't have, you do not put the customer through any sort of different um, pop-up or opt-in flow. This is just in the flow of their regular browsing and shopping behavior. And that's one of the, that's one of the uses of Messenger that uh, you're going to start seeing more brands do. Yeah. I want to also note like the, th the three reminders you were talking about. I see one 30 minutes after, 23 hours after, and then 48 hours after. Yeah, I can tell you more about that. So the 30-minute uh, reminder we talked about, we want to make sure that 
the customer can finish their purchase if they're in the middle of it. You don't want to interrupt them. And you also, but you also want to be, you also want to show up when the purchase is top of mind. The reason we did 23 after, 23 hours after instead of 24 is that uh, we wanted to be very conservative with the way we're, uh, with, with Facebook's terms of service. So typically this would have been 24 hours, but if the message maybe gets sent with a five minute or 10 minute delay or something happens where um, you know, that message falls outside of the first 24 hour window, we wanted to be really careful of that. And that's why we made it so that it's at 23 hours and not 24. And in all the A-B testing, we found that that actually made no difference. Mm. And what that allows you to do is that guarantees that those first and second reminders come within that first 24 hour window um, since, they, since they've been opted in. And then uh, if they still don't purchase, then you'll see a third reminder go out 48 hours after. Does that violate terms of service because you're doing it past 24 hours or no? No. So Facebook's very clear about their terms of service and that you're allowed one single message after, oh. after that. Got it. Yeah. Um, actually, one thing, I don't have a screenshot for this, but one thing I wanted to call out is uh, many, you know, many people wonder, are we, are we bothering customers with these Facebook Messenger notifications? And, you know, are they going to get annoyed with the brand? Are they going to be frustrated and decide that they don't want to purchase? And so um, I can share results on that, too. I, I wish I had a slide for that. But, um, you know, we've, we've talked about, first of all, uh, these really high open rates and click-through rates. Um, but what we also do is with every message that we send, and this is what I, I would say this is the best practice for anybody who's building chatbots. We also have a, three quick replies that say thanks, no thanks, or stop messaging me. And that's really important. Yeah, that's really important because uh, we want to make sure that a customer, especially if they're not used to see, uh, seeing a brand show up in their Facebook Messenger, you want to make sure that they feel like they're in control of the conversation and they're in control of the notifications. So if they hit thanks, then uh, you can respond. You, you can have an auto response with something really witty um, or just a thumbs up. If they hit no thanks, then they will not see the next messages in the sequence. So if they hit no thanks on the first reminder, they won't see the second or third reminder. And then stop messaging me is exactly, exactly how it sounds. They'll never get any of these abandoned cart messages, even if they come back six months from now. And what we found is when we tested this is the percentage of people who click no thanks or stop messaging is very, is very low. It's a low single digit percentages. Um, and it, you, of course, you compare that with the 90% open rates and the you know, 75% plus click-through rates. This shows that overwhelmingly, your customers are they're excited about what you're offering, but at least you have a way so that you're not getting negative signals from Facebook. Yeah, that makes total sense. You're giving them choice. Exactly. So it sounds like, all right, so you're, um, the magic in this, I, what, it, what it seems like is you're gaining new subscribers for no, like zero cost or difference because they're just uh the the user is just going to is their average um or their normal behavior on the site adding to cart and so on exactly uh, more intelligently sending a reminder 30 minutes afterwards and then diligently following up uh, with two more messages giving them the option to also um thank you to, or, or to say nah, i don't actually want this and all of this is all done kind of like on autopilot once you have the system set up and you're getting, you know, 50 K in revenue in the last 30 days of just doing this. Exactly. I mean, it, it more than, it more than pays for itself. Um, I mean, uh, we're seeing that uh, we, we have pretty bare bones pricing right now, but we're seeing customers get anywhere from 20 to 50 X ROI on their investment in this. And you know, that, that totally makes sense. Mm, that makes total sense. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. You know. Sure, absolutely. I, I'll, I'll say one more thing, which is, um, here, let me go back. Let me go back here. So there's a reason why we chose to attach to the add to cart button. So I did mention that, that you know, Facebook now with their checkbox plugin can let you basically attach to any, any step in the flow. And this is a very conscious decision and something that I would encourage everyone who has not only an e-commerce business, but any other, any other opt-in flow to consider. We explicitly chose add to cart because the customer, they, the customer showed strong intent to purchase. So if they were to receive a message, they would not be upset. 
And that's different from if a customer just lands on the page and you're auto opting them in because then they don't show enough interest and you're bound to get a bunch of spam, spam requests or spam markings. Um, but on the other side, you don't want to be at the very last step, which is right when they purchase or, or you know, right when they've entered the rest of their information because um, you're not getting to take advantage of the fact that um, somebody has shown interest way higher in the funnel. Yeah. How hard is it to add that message to the advocate card or add the option to send to Messenger? Yeah, so that's a, um, so if you're doing it as a developer, Facebook has great documentation about it. Uh, what, the way Shop Message does it is it's just a less than five minutes to set it up. It connects to your Shopify store, connects to your Facebook page, and it automatically will insert right below your Add to Cart button. Um, but that said, uh, this, is a, this is a balancing act. We give all of our customers the ability to move that opt-in widget to be wherever they want to. So in some cases, they want to move it slightly below in case they want to have a short product description or something like that. But it's really important to make sure we keep that checkbox in view of the add to cart because you do want to make sure customers, visitors know that they're actually opting in to receiving messages from you. And you don't want to do that in a sneaky way. That's going to, that, that's going to bite you later on. Yeah, I'm curious. Okay, shop message can do this uh, for, for your clients and stuff. If someone, yeah. if someone wanted to do this on their own, is it hard to put that on there? Uh, it's not very hard. Um, you know, there's, Facebook has documentation. You just do a search for um, uh, mess, Facebook Messenger checkbox plugin, and there's JavaScript that they can install. Uh, if, if anyone's familiar with, um, with JavaScript or jQuery, it's very easy to uh, tie that Facebook Messenger to any sort of action that happens on the site. So in this case, it's tied to the Add to Cart button, um, but Facebook's API is actually built for the scenario where um, you can, on your page, choose to call that opt-in whenever you deem it right. Mm, got it. The reason I ask is because, kind of like a bot, I want to give the I want to give the viewer a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, so just moving on. Yeah. So um, you know, we covered. I don't know if we got a chance to go through all these numbers, but this is just to show that. Um, it, you know, it, it is true that customers are getting 90% um, op open rates and they're getting 75% plus click-through rates. And this is amazing because this is not just a marketing message where they're clicking to learn more. This is actually a product where a yeah. call to action is, I want to buy this. And so to get 75% click-through rates on a product to say, like, that, that, that to say, I want to buy this, like, that is just unheard of. You would never have seen that even in abandoned cart emails. Mm. So that really is just the power of Messenger and how you can how you can just guide customer customer behavior um, with a single click. Mm, I love it. I love it. So moving forward, um, you know, we've talked about this a lot, and I know you've covered this, Tam, in your other talks. But um, you know, really high open rates and click through rates, and what we're seeing is just adding this flow is leading to an additional five to ten percent in overall sales. And that's amazing because these are customers who are already actually interested in your product and they have intent to purchase, but for whatever reason, they're dropping off and you're just using the power of Messenger to bring them back. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, these are a collection of brands that are already using Messenger on their site to, to, to increase sales. So, you know, the goal of this is just to say, um, this is very new. It's a new channel, but you all, you are already seeing big brands start to adopt it. So this is really the time to get on it now because this is a time when um, it's still not that crowded. Pe uh, people's inboxes are not as crowded. So if you want to experience those high open rates and high click through rates, it's really important to get that in now, uh, especially since uh, especially since you can opt once you get their opt in, you have the ability to engage them in other sequences later on. Yeah, I mean, like, we covered only just retargeting, or not retargeting, but... Or, abandoned cart. Abandoned cart, yes. I, I meant to say, we, we, we covered abandoned cart. What else can Messenger do to um, help, help out e-commerce uh, entrepreneurs? Yeah, so there's a, whole, uh, there's a whole set of things that you can do. And, you know, many of these are, are possible um, already through some of the other apps that people use, things like, things like ManyChat and ChatFuel, and people are already doing that. Uh, what we've done with ShopMessage and the way we think about e-commerce is there's just so many scenarios where it makes sense to engage with somebody on Messenger. So uh, abandoned cart recovery, we covered. Uh, having a welcome sequence. So after somebody 
makes a purchase, welcoming them into your brand family, mm. telling them more information about your story, telling them when they can expect their product, um, telling them how it's being made, offering a discount, because at, that's a great time to upsell them right away. Mm. Back in stock notifications, we see for, you know, we work with some premium fashion brands and they have a problem where customers will go browse on, on their mobile phone and a product will be out of stock. And it's really a disappointing experience. But uh, as soon as that product comes back in stock, this is a great way to get that message to customers to get them to purchase. Mm -hmm. And receipts and order tracking, that already happens at a, at a basic level through Shopify. Shopify has a setting that does this. But uh, there's, so many, there's so much more uh, flexibility that you can do through Shop Message or through your own chatbot system. Things like adding a discount or making that receipt a little bit uh, more full featured. Uh, and then the things I'm most excited about are having a personalized marketing drip or VIP program. And this is really where you can bring the same kind of marketing automation that you see now in, in email, but to messenger. The idea is that no two customers should see the exact same sequence. Everything should be based on what a customer actually likes and, and showing them related products to that. And as a function of what they've browsed and bought, how can you show them related items that are that you think they're going to buy? And the reason this is important is because currently, so definitely in the next three to five years, more and more, uh, cust more and more people are going to be accustomed to browsing and shopping from stores through Messenger. But currently, today, that experience is very clunky. So it's really difficult to browse through an entire shop catalog or even do even do searches. But if your chatbot can serve up really relevant products that you know the customer is going to like and give them an easy way to make that purchase, that's really where the golden scenarios are right now. Mm. Yeah, all these are, we can spend like an hour on each of these things. It's yeah. Kind of nuts. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say one more thing, which is uh, we have in the works, is a kind of a daily, a daily scratcher or a daily spin the wheel. And that's a great way to engage people in your brand. If you give them a way to come back every day and say, hey, this is your chance to get a new discount for today. And you mm -hmm. can spin a wheel or you can scratch off uh, or play a little game to see what kind of discount you get. That, that promotes a lot of engagement and keeps reminding them about your brand and gives them a way to win a discount that really just leads to more purchases. So yeah. there's so many different things you can do to re-engage your customers. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, you can stop sharing your screen and we'll just end it off um, by just going over the key takeaways of this. So Absolutely. Yeah, so it sounds like the key takeaways we got were um, there are a huge opportunity of these of, these products that are abandoning or people abandoning their cart. And we have to use messenger to um, remind them like, Hey, you actually have this awesome product and you, you know, you showed intent um, and we want to give you value by offering that product. And you do so in a variety of ways. You follow up with them after three days or um, three messages. And um, you do so in a way that's like non-intrusive and also like within their normal behavior, which is awesome. And I felt like I covered a lot and there's many more opportunities to it. Did I forget anything else? Um, I will say being really respectful of when it comes off as intrusive and giving customers control over opting out of those messages. We found that like, that, that's been great and that actually makes your customers trust you more. Mm, awesome. Arjun, where can people find you and Shop Message? Sure. So the best way is just go to shopmessage.me and um, to learn about the product there. And if you want to email me, it's just arjun, A-R-J-U-N, at shopmessage.me. All right, perfect. We'll leave it all in the description as well. But Arjun, thanks so much for coming on, um, creating this awesome deck, and um, sharing value with us. We really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Tam. All right, take care. All right, bye.